just kind of wish you were gay mm -hmm. Alright, one, two, wait Anyone? What up, loyal fans, 21 fam, how you doing guys, welcome to another video, with me your host, Louisa21, once again, another music review, not a vlog today, something a bit different guys, and a singer that I'm really passionate about, a uh, big fan of, and I made a video about Billy Eilish in the past, but I had to make another one because she made a new song that I really like, she made a few since I made my last video in October, that I had to take down from YouTube, Sadly, but yeah, it's, I'm just gonna go over the lyrics and review the song a bit for you guys. Who, well, you probably heard it by now. If you're a fan of hers, if you're not, it'd be something interesting for you guys. Uh, you guys who are missing out hugely on a really talented singer. Um, so I'm gonna roll a few clips from the actual video I made. Hopefully, won't get copyright striked. I've taken out the bits that were copyright striked. So hopefully. Without further ado, here's Billie Eilish. Roll the clip. Um, it's an amazing story, guys. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm a bit obsessed, I think. I'm fanboying, I think. De no, definitely. Definitely. Anyway, uh, Robert Phineas brought her this song. And she sung it, and it was good. And this is the, the first actual song that anyone would have heard of Billie Eilish or the SoundCloud that is and from there that's how she got her manager and then Performing Bellyache off her critically acclaimed EP Don't Smile At Me Please welcome Billie Eilish! It, like life experience as such, obviously it can be. The more you, the more, the longer you've been around, the more you've been through in some ways, good and bad. But her passion for music was from a young age and dancing and being creative, really. And you see the style of dress; it's just unique. And I'm inspired by that. So inspired, you can be inspired by people younger than you. I've realised that now. So she joined the choir, right? Um, because her brother joined the choir, like church choir, which is where the harmony in her voice really comes from. But she always had that passion, like I said. It's not like it started there. It's not like she went there and suddenly knew she was going to be a singer. She said that herself. It's not like she said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. She just loved to sing and didn't know any different. So when you don't know any different, how can you not end up in that career? Not You don't plan for it, just anyway, but... Yeah, my future wife, Billie Eilish. <laughs> uh, I lost track of what I was actually saying. Always, always that passion, yeah, that was it really. That creative side, we've all got that somewhere. In one way or another, like me with making these videos. Not saying I'm going to be as successful as Billie Eilish, but... You could dream, a man can dream, can't he? Oh dear. Alright guys, we're back. And yeah, a little intro to Billie Eilish. A little reminder of who exactly she is and what she means to me, really, um, as a fan. Um, now I'm gonna look at the lyrics here. If I get in the right bloody position. Come on, okay. How does PewDiePie do this? He never really actually bothers. So just some rap. <laughs> Random angle every time with that little TV in the background. Anyway, um, so here's the lyrics for Wish You Were Gay by Billie Eilish. Um, yeah, I'm just reading the lyrics. So these words were not. It's just a song. Like, don't take it seriously in any way. No matter what the title 
may give away. Um, there is a story behind it, and actually, yeah, maybe I should give you a bit of context as well. Uh, the story is that uh, it was like a guy she liked that, that had no interest in her. I wrote this song about a guy that really was not interested in me and it made me feel horrible. So the song is called I Wish You Were Gay and that's so not meant to be offensive in any way and it doesn't mean that I wish he was like, I don't know, it literally means that I wish he was gay so that he didn't like me for an actual reason instead of the fact that he didn't like me. And guess what? He just came out to me like a couple weeks ago, so fucking I did that shit. I wrote the song and made him fuck it. Dude, I'm fucking proud, bro. Except not really though, because I'm like, so into him. He's so hot. Oh my god, he's so attractive. Oh my god. So, uh, yeah, he's gay. But uh, this song is called I Wish You Were Gay. And, uh,. Oh, I really liked him. That's okay, he can be gay with other gay guys. And there you have it guys, the Instagram post she posted talking about why this song was written, why she wrote it, the meaning behind it. Um, the lyrics will also get into more detail on that. But yeah, amazing how it's from a true story. And yeah, just funny how the world works really. So let's hear these lyrics. I mean, they're unique. I mean, her song's always a bit different. This is something normal that can happen to someone. Someone likes you, that they you like them, they don't like you back. We've all been there in some ways. Um, so yeah, it goes, starts, baby, I don't feel so good. Six words you never understood. I'll never let you go. Five words you never say. Baby, I don't feel so good. Six words you never understood. I laugh along like nothing's wrong. Four days has never felt so long. I'll never let you go. Five words you never say. It's a countdown, basically. This first bit. It frees a crowd, and two is us, one slipped away. I just want to make you feel okay, but all you do is look the other way. Sounds like a poem now. Well, it, it is in every song, every all the lyrics, any song. It, it starts off as a poem. So, okay, next bit. But all you do is look away. I can't tell how much I wish I didn't want to stay. I just kind of wish you were gay. Is there a reason we're not through? Is there a 12 step just for you? Our conversations are in blue. 11 haze, 10 fingers pulling out my hair. Nine times you never made it fair. I ate alone at seven, six minutes away. How am I supposed to make you feel okay? When all you do is look the other way, walk the other way. I can't tell you how much I wish I didn't want to stay. I just kind of wish you were gay. To spare my pride, to give your lack of interest an explanation. I'm not your type. Maybe I'm not your preferred gender orientation. I'm so selfish, but you make me feel helpless, and I can't stand another day. I can't stand another day. I just want to make you feel okay, but all you do is look the other way. I can't tell you how much I wish I didn't want to stay. I just kind of wish you were gay. I just kind of wish you were gay. It really rhymes so well, guys. Uh, but that is the song. Um, go check it out now. I won't play it on this video, of course, because copyright. And I hate you, YouTube. I, I honestly do. Um, don't we all? Well, us YouTube is suffering right now. But yeah, there you go. The lyrics to Billie Eilish's latest song. Um, amazing, really. Um, when you hear it as well, I listened to it a few times already, but 
you know, you don't develop your opinion straight away. It takes a few, a few good listens before you you get to that stage of proper opinion. Um, but yeah, it's it's emotive. It's it's powerful in that way. Um, it's kind of a bit comical at the same time. Like the the way, well, it's it's the way the world works really, and how she explained that the same guy came out a few weeks back. So it's like she knew before she even knew about this guy so yeah problem solved it's a happy ending after all yeah Billie Eilish keep creating magical music amazing music that people love it's easier said than done really I just kinda wish you Right guys, look at this. For like one of them uh, proper punk rock stars. You just go back. Like this song. Um, um yeah, uh, no gel in there. Yet again, another bad hair day. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know I'm just weird. I'm strange, guys. Anyway, yeah, so that's the lyrics of Billy Irish in her latest tune. Once again, a very. Uh, very creative in the, in the way she writes songs, not your average lyrics, you know what I mean, and uh, of course it's always her and her brother making these songs, um, so there's the uh, originality to it, not having someone else ghost write or produce, so that's a good sign, You've got to be yourself, I mean if you can't be yourself, who are you, are you even you, are you you, you have to ask yourself that every day, like, are you copying someone else or are you being yourself? Anyway, I've got another song I want to react to. Um, of course, don't take this as seriously as Billie Eilish at all. Uh, it's just Jake Paul. Um, he made a song called "I'm Single." I've been drinking, floating, and yeah. caught in my emotions. Can you get that? I'm single. I don't know. It sounds like a twelve-year-old with auto tune. I don't know. Did you hear that? At this point, I'm single. Weird. <laughs> Come on, Jake, man. I can hear you. Some he's somewhere. Here. I'm telling you. I'm saying God. Is that a piece I'm of music? Or what? what is it? Uh, it? No, I mean, that's pre that sounds like I'm calling it a good piece of music. It's not. Can you call it a piece of music? <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but it's it, it, it's strange. He's going to get loads of views though, he's like 17 on trending or something. We'll see. We'll see, but he's made songs in the past, but they've not been serious, like, songs. I can't take this one seriously either, because it's still Jake Paul, after all the songs he's made in the past. Uh, there's no, I don't know, is it serious? This is his current situation, being single. <laughs> We've all been there. Guys. We've had two different um, types of music. One really good and really real and everything. Jake Paul credit to him as well though. Um, but yeah, this video was mainly about Billie Eilish and her new song. Um, go check it out now. Um, I've read you the lyrics. I've chatted about why I like her so much. And other vi the other video I made about her in the past, which I had to delete from YouTube. Once again, I hate you, YouTube. You're evil. Stop denying people the, the viewing pleasure that I give them. This is just, you know, all 80 of you. Like, it's for you guys. They're not, YouTube doesn't get it, guys. We've got a unique thing going on here. And people like Billie Eilish, they're also unique. And yeah, Jake Paul's unique, yeah, as well. Um, in a different way, of course. If not for his videos and seeing his videos, I might not ever be making vlogs. I might not have ever picked up a camera. Um, yeah, I'm not that crazy at all, but he's one of the reasons I do it. Um, just, well, he, he, he's had a, a tough two years, and this song's kind of summarising that in some ways. And at the end of it, he is single. However many girls he's had over the time. Um, so yeah, I can relate to him there. With, with with the amount of women and the the single life now. Gotti, <laughs> Gotti.
Gotti. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just living that that bachelor life. Ba bachelor. Yeah. Basically. And that's it, guys. Remember, if you're a creative person, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Do do what you love. Create for others or just for yourself or for fun but just don't don't waste your time that's what I'm saying Billy Irish certainly doesn't get into the music industry that young 16 15 16 and just going from there you, you've, you've got to make a life out of it it can't just be a hobby that you do one day a week it's got to be all or nothing to some extent yeah you can do that and have a normal job but if you're not passionate about the, the, the creativity, what's the point? You know, I mean, if you don't have creativity, you're not going to be, you might not necessarily use your passion in this way. Might be a different way, but whatever you do, just be you, basically. Just ask yourself, are you you? That sounds a bit weird, but trust me, just keep being you, and that's, that's the only advice I can give you. That's it. That's it, guys. Three, two, one. Peace.